It's crazy, actually, that the video that you guys are about to watch, uh, the game that you're about to watch, is the very reason that I got into creating this channel completely. Um, for those of you guys that don't know, I am a massive Dungeons & Dragons fan, and I've been playing Dungeons & Dragons for uh, the last 10 years or so. I've always dreamed of the ability to take my love of Dungeons & Dragons and my love of VR and somehow mashing them together. But this video is going to be about Tavern Tale, available on the Oculus Quest 2, and it is available as a flat screen uh, PC game, so you can play D&D with your friends that don't have headsets. Um, and it's pretty close. Um, it's basically just taking the tabletop concepts that we have grown to love and putting them in a virtual tavern, and it does it pretty well. There, uh, sadly, isn't too many great reviews about this game, so this is going to be the Tavern Tales 2021 Definitive Guide or Review um, to Playing D&D in Virtual Reality. We are loaded in to Tavern Tales. When you load in, you have a news board here. It says beta, because uh, obviously this game is in beta. And I believe it's it's developed by like one person. Um, but coming over to like the main lobby area, you have some very basic settings, uh, nameplates. You can obviously customize the name that is above your head. Um, a rather robust uh, character creation um, where you can basically like build your in-game avatar um so you see i i have just a really standard avatar i don't uh really care um about what my character looks like you then have uh the adventures uh the adventurers board here and it will list the games that i dungeon master uh which is joshi poshi's uh Andromedum campaign and obviously the games that you're playing in will be listed here as well. Now, there is a dashboard version of this game, kind of that you log in with your account, and you can join games from, uh, like, basically the computer. Same with games that you DM. You can write your story and add handouts and add a bunch of features. We'll get into that later. We'll jump over and take a look at the dashboard. Um, if you click here, it's going to load you in to the actual online lobby. But if you just want to build... Uh, if you just want to build your terrain or build your maps, um, you can do that offline so no one can just randomly jump into your game. Your players can't jump in. So we are going to go ahead and do that. And uh, it should load you in to the tavern, uh, which we will spend just a very brief amount of time here in the tavern. So um, basically you spawn into a tavern. All your players will spawn in here as well. There is full voice communication and quite a lot of bit of stuff in this tavern is, um, is interactable. So you can pick things up and you could act your role-playing scenes out. But, uh, this definitely keeps up with the cliche of like, you start in a tavern. Um, but yeah, everything in here is, uh, for the most part, interactable. So kind of the bread and butter of this game is obviously going to be the table um, where you're going to be playing Dungeons & Dragons. Now, this game is best played uh, sitting down. Obviously, you're not going to want to play a three or four hour D&D &D session, um, you know, standing obviously. But for the sake of this video and the sake of easily navigating the table, we are going to go ahead and just uh, do this introduction standing up. So coming down here, um, you're going to see, let's see if I can adjust the height. But that's okay. We're going to go into build. And there's many couple of options here within build. You can hide your dungeon master screen. Um, you have the DM shelves, which we'll get to. You have uh, a lock scenery, which will allow you to lock scenery. You can change the lighting of the tavern, which really doesn't change the ambiance as much as it just changes the floor. You can add uh, these fog of war blocks, which at one point in time, these were really bugged. Um, so I never used them, but I believe that's probably fixed. 
and you have some different rotation options. Now, what's really cool is, as I said, you can build your maps and then you can save your maps. PM shelves, which is essentially the miniatures of the game. So let's go ahead and take a look at the miniatures first, because that's obviously probably why you're watching this video. And it's absolutely, in my opinion, the coolest part of, of playing D&D in Tavern Tales. So let's go ahead and load the dashboard and you'll see a plethora of Dungeons and Dragons characters and creatures that you can place on this table. Um, so like here, we have, you know, a beholder. Um, so we can take this beholder and drop him and he has physics. Um, so there is gravity in the game. Um, you can grab them, stretch them out, scale them, you make a very big beholder. Uh, you can you know, set that guy over here on the table. Um, you can actually scale them really big and kind of have things, uh, things in the tavern kind of fill up. But there is, as I said, quite a bit of like your iconic Dungeons and Dragons monsters present here. Um, what's really cool as well, over on the dashboard, um, I kind of created a crazy workaround using Hero Forge um, and exporting Hero Forge miniatures. But you can, with really high quality, make your own custom miniatures. Um, of course, they're only 2D, but they're very high quality. Um, I can do a video uh, on how to make this. Um, but yeah, you can export really cool uh, custom Hero Forge minis. Of course, they're 2D, as I said, but still. What's really cool as well is you can actually import um, maps. Uh, as a custom miniature, you can import a map, scale it up very big, drop it in the tavern, which we need to fix it drop it in the tavern and now you have your world map uh in the tavern so when a player's like hey uh what town are we in or I, what town are we heading to next you can show them this really high detailed quality map which that is made in arkan no yeah arkan forge um and then i have like a larger world map so that is really um, most of the creatures. There's some NPC creatures down here as well. Um, you do have full-blown scenery uh, that's pretty easy to kind of just drag and drop into the world. So lots of scenery to choose from. Uh, lots of buildings to choose from as well. Building full towns and cities is relatively easy. Tons of props. You can really get into this super in depth uh tons of whoops didn't mean to grab the map here tons of uh buildings let's see if i have any loaded maps let's see i have a town during attack let's go ahead and load that map there we go so this is a town that i had built as you see well i'm not sure how to this is uh a city or a little town that I built for my players to interact in. Um, I even have, you know, little miniatures uh, in here. You can add counters to them as well. So this is really quite a robust set of Dungeon Master tools. Um, you can toggle gravity on and off. So let's look at how the game actually plays or how you would play. So let's go to play. And there is... A ton more plethora of play options. Your dice tower, um, they do have some limited edition dice. I think they're like a buck for a set of dice if you want something different than these standard green dice. But you can pick them up, you can roll them on the table, you can pick them up, drop them in the dice tower, and boom, we rolled a nat 20. What's the chances of that? Uh, in this video. The only thing that I really have to complain about when it comes to rolling dice in Tavern Tales is that you can only roll one dice at a time. You can't roll uh, like multiple D6s for casting, uh, you know, fireball or something along those lines. You can once again load your maps from the play option. You do have a full-blown internet browser here. 
it logs you in by default um, to the Tavern Tales uh, dashboard. However, um, you can set uh, like favorites. You can have up to 10 favorites. So I've got Google here if I want to Google something very quickly. I think, yep, number two, I have D&D Beyond pulled up. Um, and then I have the Tavern Tales game portal. So, and you can move this around and place it anywhere that you want so that if you're in your, you know, gaming chair, you can switch around and quickly look something up. You do have notes as well. These notes are wrote on the desktop portal. So you don't have to sit here and like chicken peck or hen peck the, uh, the notes, but basically boom, drop the notes here. And these right here are all of my story notes and you can kind of place these wherever you want moving on we have handouts where if you have a handout like here is the overworld map uh, if I want to hand this out to somebody uh, I can however that seems to be a little bit bugged um, we have lighting colors ambient noise so we're in a city right now so here's the city maybe when we're in the inn we have some ambient in noise we do have initiative trackers as well to track the initiative of the game and then we have our counters so that is pretty much everything that you would need to play dungeons and dragons in tavern tales in virtual reality um i may end up running a full-blown game in Tavern Tales. It will be the first time that I've ran a game in Tavern Tales. Um, and if you're interested in playing, maybe leave a comment down below. But let's go ahead and jump into the desktop portal. This is the Tavern Tales Tabletop Adventures player portal. And essentially the player portal is where you can join games. It's where you can create and work on your game uh, if you're DMing. Um, but let's look at these headers up here first. So at first you kind of have a my dashboard here. Uh, this will be where you can create your character sheets, which will go through. You can log into the game that you run. You can go to new game and you can also participate in the games that you're in. They do have a game finder, but it doesn't seem to be utilized by the players um, as much as the Tavern Tales Discord is used, which I can put that down in the description box below if you're interested in joining a community of people that already play Tavern Tales uh, so that you don't have to convince your current party to play uh, or go buy headsets. You can just play with people that already uh, have headsets and are interested in Tavern Tales. You can uh, join a game uh, by entering in a Dungeon Master's game ID. Of course, DM Guide and Player Guide is still being worked on at the moment. And then there is the store where you can buy the different dice sets that are available for 99 cents. And to my understanding, this is the only form of monetization that Tavern Tales has done. So, you know, spend the $6 and buy all of the dice sets that are available. Um, if, if, let's go ahead into the character sheets. Um, you can actually just uh, select the tabletop system. Obviously, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. There is support for other games in Tavern Tales. However, the miniatures are for the most part, D&D 5th edition miniatures, uh, there was talks at one point in time in the Discord of them adding potentially different sets of miniatures, such as sci-fi and things of that nature. But you can just make your character on D&D Beyond and then download that or export that as a PDF and then import that right into Tavern Tales. So that is uh, pretty straightforward and pretty easy. So let's go ahead and uh, back out of this. Next, we can go with the games that I run section. Um, so we can go ahead and click on that. Obviously, I can name the campaign. Here's my game ID that I would share on Discord or wherever my players are going to be joining the game at. Uh, the tabletop system, obviously, is Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. You can even put a description of your 
uh, of your of your game. You have your next session, how many players you want to run, uh, where your server region is. Public game will then list it on that game finder. But as I said, for the most part, people do not do that. You can do auto accept requests. You can add uh, a code DM if multiple people are going to be playing. There's, here is where it'll list your players. You can then click on them. Uh, here is where the DM notes are, where you can write your DM notes. Uh, so if I click new note, I can obviously write that new note. Uh, here is the save slots. Now these save slots are essentially the map save slots. Um, I believe you can create five within Tavern Tales and you can create quite a few more by adding these save slots in. Uh, you can add these save slots in the game. You can create a save spot. Uh, the base image URL, you can actually, uh, if you want the table to not be red, uh, and you don't want to lay individual tiles, you can um, use a base image URL. So for instance, you can go to Google and type in like high quality grass terrain and then import that into the map and it will give you high quality grass terrain as your base uh, of your table. Here, custom minis is where I was really fooling around with uh, trying to see what I could get away with. Um, so I was able, as I said, as you guys saw, to load maps uh, and then have maps in the tavern and then your custom characters. So that is really it when it comes to the dashboard, but it pretty much has everything that you could possibly need uh, in terms of wanting to uh, build a D&D campaign in virtual reality. You can find the game on SideQuest. Uh, like most of the games that I've reviewed and played so far, uh, I think it's a really good start, honestly. It, it doesn't get updated as frequently as I would like. It seems uh, that the features have kind of slowed down since September, but as I said, it is only one guy, I think, that is creating this game. Um, I, I think I forgot to mention that you can play it just on PC as well so not all of your players need to have a vr headset but the dungeon master does need to have a headset um, but yeah check it out if you're into dungeons and dragons and you're into vr like myself thank you guys very much for watching and we will see you on the next video